Hello and welcome to CAMLOOK, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection, uh, posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Zori and I'm a docent at CAM. For today's discussion, I have uh, chosen a painting by the 17th century Dutch painter Ferdinand Bohl. Here in a garden scene, we see an old woman talking to a seated young lady. The old woman is facing the girl while the girl is deep in her thoughts. The girl is holding a pruning knife with her left hand. I love how Bohl has rendered the curve of the knife and the fold in the girl's dress. Holding the pruning knife indicates to me that the girl doesn't want to leave all her guards down. Only the end part of the handle is to be seen by the old woman. The old woman has put one hand on the girl's arm. Her right hand might say, listen to what I have to say. Or is the hand slowly going to touch the girl's knee? This painting is called Vertumnus and Pomona. These two only exist in the Roman mythology. Pomona is a goddess of gardens tending to various plants and fruits and vegetables. She is the object of affection from many of the gods. She declines every attempt by the gods, showing only interest in her garden. Vertumnus, god of seasons, change and plant growth, is persistent. He tries many ways to get to her. He comes as a farmer, a reaper, a fisherman, but each time Pomona turns him away. Then one day, an old woman approaches Pomona, who wants to enter her orchard. Pomona lets her in as she doesn't see her as a threat. The old lady, sure Vertumnus being the god of seasons and change, can easily change like the seasons do, tells the girl about love and how a man and woman need each other like the vine climbing the elm tree. She then starts praising Vertumnus and that they have many things in common as they are both gods related to nature. The old woman gradually gets her Pomona's interest and finally reveals herself being Vertumnus and Pomona accepts her. Now, what do you think? Why has Bo put light on the girl and uh, the elm tree were not covered by the, vi uh, the vine and on the apple in the fruit basket? Is Pomona really happy just attending her trees? Some say this is a very erotic painting. Would you agree? And if yes, what are the signs? Why is the girl's left arm with a prune knife close to the fruit basket resting on an armrest while her right arm is not and who is on her right side? Would you trust a lover who changes colors to get to you? Or would you admire him or her for that? For more questions and answers, please come and see this painting at the Cincinnati Art Museum in the Dutch Gallery. Thank you very much and goodbye.